As we begin to build our defense, one of the most important considerations that a coach has is making sure that he places his players in the proper positions. So let me go through each position in our 1-3-1 and tell you what, kind, what kinds of characteristics we look for in these positions. Start first and foremost with our chaser. Our chaser is a player who is at the top of our zone defense and he essentially plays in Main Street. Now he has the freedom to go down the floor if he'd like to and pick up uh, the ball in the back court if he wants to exert more pressure, but typically he picks up around the half court line or between the circles. Now to me, this is the most important decision that a coach has to make, is who's going to be your chaser? Because this player is the tone setter for your defense. This is the player that has to uh, put pressure on the ball. He has to dictate and, uh, and be the kind of player that dictates to the offense, and not, not a reactive player. The, the one three one zone is a dictating defense, and it, it all begins on top. I constantly tell our chaser, our defense begins with you. It begins with you're the first point of contact for the offense. The other four defensive players are going to watch you. They're behind you. So if you're playing with great intensity and effort, great courage, uh, trying to put a lot of pressure on the ball, it's going to set the tone for our defense. In addition, the chaser also has to make sure that he's prepared to squeeze dribble penetration. And I'll go into more of his responsibilities as we uh, develop our defense. After the chaser, I believe the next most important decision is who's going to be your tail. And the tail for us is the back player in the 1-3-1. And this player, for us, uh, we like to refer to him as the director of our defense. Where the chaser is the tone setter, the tail is the director. He has to be a very vocal player uh, who sees the floor because he has, where, where the chaser has the entire defense behind him, the tail has the entire defense in front of him. So he has to be the one that calls out cutters, calls out uh, offensive patterns, offensive sets, so he has to be a great communicator, and as I like to say, he's the eyes and the voice of our 31 defense. He also has to be a, a uh, determined player who's competitive and has a certain amount of fight because he'll have one of the most difficult coverages, which is to cover from corner to corner. Once we have selected our chaser and tail, the next position that we focus on is who's going to be our middle player. And our middle player is the person that we refer to as the protector of our defense. It is his job to own Main Street, to keep the ball out of that area. And he typically does that by fronting the high, mid, and low posts. Often, he also has to protect Main Street by being the secondary line of defense against dribble penetration. If a driver gets past our perimeter players, if we don't squeeze the scene properly, the middleman's responsibility is to step in and stop dribble penetration as well. We like to refer to the middle player as king of the hill. And the hill is the three second lane and top of the key area. And we want him to be the, the king of the hill. That's his area. And we want him to welcome contact in that area, not be afraid of contact and be the type of player, whether he's six foot tall or six five, depending on his size, it doesn't matter. He has to be the type of player who has a presence physically and is not afraid to engage the other team's post player. Once we've chosen the three players that form the backbone of our defense, then we select our wings. And the two wings really have the major responsibility of contesting shots fighting for the block on the weak side in rebounding situations, and also squeezing dribble penetration. We like to think of our defense in terms of having a strong backbone that frees up the wings to do the most important jobs that they have. As you study different offensive sets against the 1-3-1, you find that frequently they're the ones who have to contest outside shots. So having height at both positions with a certain amount of mobility and the ability to get on the backside board and rebound is an important aspect of selecting good wings.
The 1-3-1 one, one defense is a dictating defense. It's not a reactive defense. So proper selection of personnel is central to the ability to dictate to the other team. Having the players in the right positions is probably the most important decision that a coach has to make in terms of setting up his 1-3-1. One,